Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Assey of JonathanAssey.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, do this, wait, do this <laughs> to awaken a man's heart. You got to do this to awaken a man's heart. Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, write a question, post a comment, let me know you've been following my work. Um, by the way, I shoot about three or four videos per week. All right. You need to do this to awaken a man's heart. So, gosh, I mean, I could go, by the way, as I'm, I'm extemporaneously doing this one, I'm, a matter of fact, I barely uh, write any notes when I shoot videos, so I might be all over the map here. But I've been thinking about a book uh, that I've been reading by Joe Dispenza called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And why I'm talking about this book uh, with respect to do this to awaken a man's heart is ladies you've been so conditioned this book has nothing to do with relationships by the way this is about this is a, a self self-help personal development empowerment book and it really works in conjunction with my book what the heck is self-love anyway by the way check out the links below to Jonathan recommends um, recommend all these different books but it starts with shifting yourself it starts by awakening your heart. How do you awaken a man's heart? It starts by awakening your heart. And that's my invitation to you. Now, I know a lot of you ladies think that your heart's awake because your women tend to be more emotional and women tend to be more relational. Okay, I get it. You're more emotional, you're more relational. And men have a capacity to be um, to express their emotions, to open their heart, and men have a capacity to be relational. But we need guidance. And so why I want you to break the habit of being yourself is I want you to break the traditional habit that you've been so bought into that men are the leaders of the relationship. And I'm here to say you're always giving the job to the wrong person because you are in charge of your relationship destiny and you are the emotional container and leader of the relationship. So how you're going to awaken a man's heart to love is by leading by example. You need to do this. You need to lead by example. But it starts by breaking the old habits of being yourself and then leaning into self-love to be prepared to be the leader of the relationship. Now, in previous videos, I've also recommended this book. Oops, I put it way over here is Making Love All the Time by Barbara DeAngelis. Making Love All the Time by Barbara DeAngelis. Why this is such, and by the way, look how thick that book is. I brought this up in a recent video and I'm gonna be bringing it up more often because when you understand how to genuinely make love to a man, and I don't mean love in the bedroom, okay? I mean make love to his heart, when you understand it, you can actually be the leader of the, you will, you will be leading by example because you are the emotional leader of the relationship. We men have no fucking clue how to be emotional leaders of a relationship. This is why I know I say this rhetoric over and over and over again, but this leaning back into your feminine energy and letting the guy do all the work doesn't work. It only temporarily works for that anxious, needy guy who will come back but if, if he's fucked up he, and he pulls away, he disappears and goes, if he comes back, he isn't coming back healed. And if he comes back chasing you, it's because he might miss you temporarily, but he'll go back to the old habits. This is why you have to be the leaders of the relationship and lead by example, lead by learning this material. So when you understand it, you can introduce it in a loving way. And if you're not familiar with the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. I talk about this one all the time. Most of the time, ladies, you're, you're speaking your truth in a confrontational way. And by the way, let me pause here. Guys aren't doing, this isn't, this may seem like I'm saying do all the work. No, I'm saying introduce men to this work and if they don't step up, he's out the door. Men, any man who's watching this video, you should be reading these books as well. You should be doing this work. One of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love? Anyway, it's a journey to personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. And my invitation for all of you is begin to do the inner work instead of getting caught up in this rah-rah rhetoric about masculine feminine energy 
masculine feminine energy because it doesn't work what works is understanding because when you understand the mechanics of a healthy happy relationship you can predict what's going to happen next and when you can predict what's going to happen next you make better choices it's not about energy it's about being aware of the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. And nobody taught us this shit when we were younger. Nobody taught, that we wasn't taught in school, wasn't taught by our parents. And I gotta tell you, women that go through my private coaching, uh, by the way, there's a link for a free discovery call if you're interested in private coaching, but I can tell you this happens so many times. Women fill out a questionnaire describing their ideal relationship. Then they go through my proprietary program. It's a five week boot camp that I put together. In this boot camp, we go through all these modules to get you better prepared for relationship. And let me tell you what happens every single time. I mean, every single time. Woman finishes my course and they go, oh my God, why didn't they teach us this in school? Why didn't my parents teach me this? Why didn't I learn this 10 years ago? And what happens, what blows me away is literally the minute they make an investment in themselves, the minute you make an investment in yourself, Great guys start to come out of the surface because you're already leading by example because you've been re-educated from the inside out because you've been empowered with knowledge and you've been empowered with taking charge of your life. You're breaking the habit of being yourself. You're loving yourself. You're learning how to make love all the time and you're learning a, a compassionate way of communicating. Compassionate communication. That's the way the book should have been titled. Ah. Look, I get it. It's frustrating out there. It's frustrating because men and women are clueless. <laughs> men and women are clueless. It's not, and we are so caught up in the chemistry that we forget what it takes to make a healthy, happy relationship. And if you follow my channel, if you read the recommended books I recommend, my hope is that you shift your perspective and you find a better way to date, mate, and relate for yourself. Please let me know. If my work has made a difference in your life, please post a comment below. Let me know that this work has made a difference. If you've been a binge watcher, let me know. I wanna say thank you to you personally. And I just wanna say, look at, we can all find great relationships. It starts by breaking the habits of the old self and begin to start a new self. Uh, okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic shot the bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.